Scrapbooking with kids. We so often spend our days snapping adorable photos of our kids, but then those mementos end up languishing on our phones and desktops. How about using them to create a physical keepsake instead? Scrapbooking is a great way to treasure these times with your family and it's also the perfect craft activity for kids to get involved with as it is relatively inexpensive, easy to pull off and brings out the artist in everyone. The best thing about scrapbooking is that nothing has to look perfect. In fact, the messier and the more abstract, random and creative, the better. No two scrapbooks will look the same. Some may be full of photos, while others may be covered in drawings and scribbles and newspaper cuttings. Either way, they all work. Let kids be free to express themselves. You may want your scrapbook to look perfect but, depending on the age of your kids, they're likely to want to draw everything, everywhere. You should let your little ones express themselves how they want in the scrapbook. The ideas they comes up with are pretty hilarious too. It's so fun watching how in flow kids can be. Many times they don't have preconceived notions of how things should look or turn out, and if he makes a mistake we turn it into something else. Keep it simple. You don't need to go crazy with different materials, tape, fabric and glitter for a good scrapbooking session. Having basic supplies like paper, felt, tacky glue and glue sticks are a great way to encourage creativity. You can even keep it as simple as a pen and paper. You also should set your expectations low when you start out, rather than hoping it will end up Pinterest worthy straight away. Prepare a craft space. If you're making an afternoon of it, and your kids are keen, set up a craft table. Be sure to put some sort of temporary cloth down as it'll no doubt get very messy. By having a craft space, you can lay out everything you have to use in the scrapbook, pens, paper, stickers, tape, glue, etc. It's an easy way for your children to see what they can use and get involved. Find inspiration online. Don't worry if you're starting scrapbooking for the first time and feel slightly uninspired. There's plenty of ideas for ways to get crafty on Pinterest or on other scrapbooking blogs. Or you could look on Facebook for craft events in your local area. Don't force your kids to do it. One thing you don't want to do is make scrapbooking feel as if it's a chore. You don't want them to resent something that really should be so special. If they're not into scrapbooking, that's okay. You're the one that has the honor of preserving their memories until perhaps, one day, they might want to do it themselves. Don't feel discouraged if you can't get your child to participate. If kids aren't in the mood, they can still bring some toys to the table so we can at least be doing something we all enjoy alongside one another. It's also wonderful just asking for their input, perhaps you want to let them choose a patterned paper. Then they can feel like they have contributed and their opinion matters. Ask them how they want to get involved. Gauge your kids' interest in scrapbooking by finding out what part of it they may like. Perhaps they love writing and you can encourage them to keep a written journal. Or maybe they love taking pictures instead. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please support our channel by liking this video and subscribing to our channel. Also, hit that ring bell to get a notification every time we upload new videos.